Okay, so sorry I'm not there today. Um, my daughter's sick again, so I'm home with her for the day. So we are going to work through going from vertex form to standard form. All right, so vertex form is what well, we've worked through the last little bit is where we're like this. Um, this is our vertex form. That's our vertex form. We're going to take it the standard form, which looks like this. Okay. Now it may look something like this, like 2x squared plus 4x plus 7, and that's what we might have saw last year where we applied factoring to. But that's where we're at. So before we start that, we need to go over FOIL. Oh, come on, anyways. There we go. All right, we need to go over what FOILing is because that's going to be a big part of this. So if we remember FOIL, let's say I have x plus 3 and x plus 5. Foiling is where how we get from here from factored form to standard form. But what we do there, if you remember, we go first. So we go x times x, which is x squared. Then we go x times 5, which is 5x. That's our first, our outside. Now we do the inside. We do here. It should be green. It's going to turn green one time. There we go. That's 3x. And then our last one is our last, which is plus 15. And then we combine these two like terms together to get x squared plus 8x plus 15. So we need to remember that before we do any vertex to standard form, is how to FOIL. Then secondly, we have to kind of remember what 2 squared is. What does 2 squared mean? So 2 squared means 2 times 2, or this times itself. So in vertex form, we're going to have something like this, where it's x minus 2 squared. Now what does that mean? Well, if 2 squared is 2 times 2, x minus 2 squared is x minus 2 times x minus 2. Just like 2 squared, the squared is applied here, so it's whatever here we're going to times by itself. Here, the square is x minus 2. That's what the square is applied to, so we're going to times it by itself. So I'm going to do a couple of examples to start. And then... Oh, my computer's run slow today. Gonna keep doing this till it erases. So I'll do a first one by myself, and then I will do a couple where I let you uh, do it with me, or you guys get ahead and then I'll correct it. So we'll start with something simple. So x plus 4 squared plus 10. Okay. So our goal is to get this down to we have x squared, oops, x squared plus x plus a number. Okay, that's where we're going. So x plus 4 squared, that actually means x plus 4 times x plus 4. Then we're just going to have this plus 10 hanging out. We're not going to do anything with this yet. That should highlight. There we go. We're not going to do with that anything with that yet. We're just going to let it hang out. But we are going to do FOIL over here as I wait for my pen to do this. So x times x, x squared plus 4x. Here, 4 times x is going to be plus 4x again. And lastly, plus 16. Now the plus 10 is still hanging out. And now we can collect our like terms. 
And in this case, we have these like terms, once my pen turns blue, we have these like terms here that both have x's. So that's going to equal 8x. We have our x squared, which is in front here. Abracadabra. There we go. And then in this case, we have these ones here. So that's going to equal plus 26. And there we're done. We have an x squared, an x, and a constant. So, how about I write down another one over here, and then I'll see if you guys can do it by yourself. I may need to restart my computer before I make another video. So, make little swipes up here. Let's try this one. What is x plus 5 squared minus 10? So if you want to pause the video here, you work it out on your whiteboard using mine as an example. Work it out on your whiteboard and let me think here. So pause. Then when you unpause, I'm starting right now. So hopefully everybody has it worked out as far as they can on their whiteboard already. So I have this. X plus 5 times X plus 5. And the minus 10 is hanging out. So we'll FOIL this first. X squared times X squared. Uh, X times X is X squared. Outside, X times 5. 5x, 5 times x, 5x, and 5 times 5 is 25. Then don't forget about our numbers here. Now we have this we can put together, and we have this we can put together. So that's x squared plus 10x plus 15. Hopefully most of you got that correct. Let's do one more of those. So I'm going to scroll this way so you can continue looking at it. I'll do this one in red. It's not going to let me change my width. So this time let's go x minus 3 squared plus 10. So pause it here, work your way through it, and I'll be right back. Oh, look at that, I'm right back, as long as you paused it. So x minus 3 squared is going to look like this, x minus 3, and x minus 3, then plus 10. So let's FOIL this first part out. So that is x squared minus 3x. We're here. We have another minus 3x. And the last one, a negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9. And we still have our plus 10 hanging out here. Then we'll put our x's together. We'll put our numbers together. So that should be x squared minus 6x plus 19. Okay. Now, as an aside, in standard form, still not the color I want, still not the color. In standard form, this number here is where our parabola crosses the x-intercept, I mean the y-intercept, just as a point of interest. I know Aiden was wondering about that. So, we can get a little bit harder now if we put an a value in. So let's put an a value in here of 2 bracket x plus, uh, what number should I put in there? Let's go big. 9 squared 
plus three. Okay. Now the difference here is this bracket is got this in it. So when I do my expanding, I've got a big bracket here, and then a little bracket which is x plus nine and x plus nine. And this three's gonna hang out for a while still. Okay. We have to do the inside of the bracket first, then multiply it by two before we get out of our brackets. So this one's gonna be a big bracket. And then we do the inside, just like we did the other side, which is x squared plus 9x plus 9x plus 81, bracket plus 3. Okay? Because this 2 is timed by everything in the bracket, so we're working through the bracket stuff right now. Then we're going to collect our like terms here. We don't collect these because the bracket's in the way x squared plus 18x plus 81 plus 3. Now we have to use, we have to distribute or rainbow in to all the numbers using our 2. So that's going to be 2x squared plus 36x plus 162, then plus 3. And then finally, we combine these two together, which will be 2x squared plus 36x plus 165. So just one more step there to work on. So I will give you one to work on right now. 4 bracket x plus 2 squared minus 5. So pause it right there and see if you can work through it by yourself. Okay, we're back. Or you just kept playing the video. One of those two things exist. Now if you get caught, look to someone beside you, see if you can get help from them. So we're going to start by expanding our bracket. So I get a big bracket. Then my x plus 2s are in here. There's my two x plus twos, big bracket, and then my minus five is hanging out. So I have four bracket, x times x, x squared, x times two, plus two x, two times x, plus two x, and two times two is plus four, close my bracket. I still have a minus five out there. Then I have to simplify here. Now, I don't have to simplify. If I multiplied in by the 4 four times, I'd still get the same number. But it's easier to simplify here before you bring it in. Squared plus 4x plus 4. And then my minus 5 is still hanging out. Now I distribute it. So I have 4x squared plus 16x because 4 times 4 is 16 plus 16, minus 5. Then I'm going to put these two together since they're like terms. 4x squared plus 16x plus 11. There we go. So now I'll put another one up for you to work through. Oh, it changed over quick. So this is going to be negative 2 bracket x minus 3 squared minus 9. So pause it here and work through this. Okay. So exact same thing we did before. These aren't difficult. They're just process based. So I have x minus 3 in brackets twice. Big bracket, my minus 9 is just going to hang out. I have minus 2 here. x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 minus 3x. Negative 3 times x minus 3x. Negative 3, negative 3 is positive 9 
minus 9. Still hanging out. Collect my like terms, put these guys together. x squared minus, oh, plus, no, no, minus. Shoot, now i got to wait for my eraser. How about now? How about now? How about now? It's going to be now. Riveting, isn't it? Waiting for my eraser to work. Okay, everybody guess how many times, how many more strokes will happen. Oh, it happened. You all lose. This is going to be minus 6x plus 9. My negative 9 is hanging out. Now I'm going to distribute the negative 2. So I'm going to times everything by negative 2. So negative 2x squared. Negative times a negative is a positive, so plus 12x minus 18x. And no, just 18, minus 9. Then I can combine those two. And that's negative 27. And away we go. Should we do another one? Let's say yes. A little aside here. Some of you might have seen the pattern already, but if you don't, when you do a square of something like this, x plus 5 squared, okay, there's a little pattern how it comes out. So I'm going to do, let's do it all here x plus 5, x plus 5. Now let's look what happens. We get x squared plus 5x plus 5x plus 25. So finally we get x squared plus 10x plus 25. So if you look, this number here is the last number squared. In this case, 5 squared is that going to be that number. If you look up here, 9 squared, 81. 2 squared is 4. And that's going to be the last number there. Here, negative 3 squared, 9. Okay, a little pattern. And then this middle number, here is whatever this is doubled. So 5 doubled with an x. Okay. Now you don't have to see this pattern, you don't have to use this pattern, but if you can, it takes saves you a little step. So I could look at this, I could go x minus, let's go minus 10 squared. And I can go, okay, this one here, the first one x squared is going to be x squared because just x. Then we're going to double minus 10 to get the middle numbers. Double minus 10 is negative 20x. Then what's negative 10 squared? That's 100. So that should be the answer. So if I go through this, x minus 10, x minus 10, I foil it. x squared minus 10x minus 10x. Negative 10 times negative is plus 100. If I combine these, I'm going to get that. So I'm going to give you a couple, and I just want you to see if you can do it mentally and just write down the answer right away. X plus 7 squared. Now, as I said, if you have to go through it and work it out, that's 100% correct. But these are little tricks that might help save you time. So if I were doing this one, x squared leads, I'm going to double plus 7. So double 7 is 14. I'm going to tag an x on that. Then lastly, 7 squared oops, is 49. So that's my 7 squared. Oops. 7 squared. This is 7 times 2. Okay, last one. Let's go x minus 4 squared. 
Try to work that one out mentally and write it on your whiteboard. All right, and away we go. So x squared leads it off. For this one, we're going to times it by 2. So it's minus 8x, 4, 2, 4s. 2 negative 4s are negative 8. And for this one, we're going to go negative 4 squared, which is positive 16. Okay, last one, then you guys can go do your practice. So let's do this one. We're going to switch up. We're going to go half bracket x plus 8 squared minus 20. So same thing as before. Now I'm going to try to skip the step here. You guys need to pause it first. Pause it, work it out, and see if we get the same answer. So your answer should be, sorry for the long pause there, x squared times by 2 plus 16x, square it, plus 64. Now if you have to do this, and then work out this and this and work it all the way through that is not a problem okay that is a hundred percent correct and if you want to do it do it but if you can see the middle step you can see that jump step you can do that jump step as well okay now we have half in front so all we're doing is multiplying everything by half so this is going to end up being half x squared Half of 16 is 8x, and half of 64 is 32. And we still have this minus 20 there. We're going to combine those. Half x squared plus 8x plus 12. And there's our final answer. Okay. That's it for today. You have a practice sheet. And on the practice sheet, oh, where to go? Uh, you're going to be handed the practice sheet by the substitute, and you have to do questions one, two, three, five, seven, eleven, and twelve. We'll skip the ones with uh, fractions in it. You guys don't really need to do those, except for the one with the half, because we've already done one of those, and you can suck it up and uh, get it done. So, if you need to go back to look at this, it is in OneNote, under Content Library, Spiral 3, I think I named it Vertex to Standard Form. Okay, have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.